A huge thank you to every one of my Super TF addicts who have been supporting me for the past year and also interchanging through the year. If you want to help support me financially, please feel free to head over to any of the links down in the description down below and become a Super TF addict today. TFA 1024, where your entertainment will be transformed! <laughs> Well, we've grog no weep, nitty-bong, my fellow addicts. This is TFA1024, the Transformers Addict here, and it's been a little bit, hasn't it? Sorry about the lack of content here on the channel. It's just things haven't really been flowing all right up here, um, creatively anyway, and I've also just been dedicating a lot of my time to making stop-motion ideas and working on previously announced stop-motions I announced here and on Instagram. So to make up for it, here's a little bit of content, and today it is a TFA mail. I just ordered something from eBay a few days ago. It's finally arrived. And the only hint that you're getting is that that's, it's something new. It's something that's supposed to come out in March. So with all that being said, let's just get right into it. I have my manly pink and purple colored schizos right here. And let's just go ahead and open this box. So hopefully everyone's been doing well. And Happy New Year to all of you, in case I haven't said it already. But hopefully things have been going well for you. Things have been going well for me. So I'm hoping the same for you. Hopefully this will be a quick video as well. And there he is. So this is the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Ironworks. This is a figure that I wanted to start the line off with first specifically because I just love the concept of MicroMaster bases being turned into legitimate actual Transformers characters. I really like the concept, this is basically like the new weaponizers for this toy line, and I'm really excited to see what other MicroMaster bases will be transformed into actual legitimate characters. So to start off the Earthrise trend, I got Ironworks. Now I do have more Earthrise figures on the way despite TFCon coming in about a couple weeks from now, I, and I've also just been splurging in general. I have a couple more things on the way as well, um, but if I do not upload videos as consistently as I normally do which is very rare sometimes, but sometimes I upload back to back. I will upload an unboxing to give you guys some form of content. I've also made my stuff as not made for kids again, just because it really isn't. It's, it's made for everyone. I've established this on Instagram, so I'm saying it here. Comments are back. Live chat is back. Uh, community section is back, community tab, it's all back. So feel free to interact with me down in the comment section down below. Feel free to let me know what you think about the new Earthrise toy line so far. Let me know who you got recently. They're starting to show up at Targets. My Targets have not updated yet because Florida normally takes a little longer. But I'm really happy to just get them. Now, I did pay a little extra for him on eBay, but I look at it like $7 more than retail. So $21, I paid about $27. And I have no regrets. So, or I'm sorry, $28. But I have no regrets. I wanted him. He's good. He's a quadruple changer. And I just... I'm really excited to finally have them. It's very cool to actually see these characters be made into actual Transformers, or these bases made in actual Transformers characters. So, let me know if you're on the, you know, on the hunt for Earthrise. Let me know who you got down in the comment section down below. Well, with all that being said, my fellow addicts, this has been a very quick TFA mail. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And please remember, my fellow addicts, until next time, to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF addicts for life! This is TFA 1024, the Transformers Addict. Rolling out to all.